Hello and welcome to Maturing Beautifully with Miss Catherine. Today I'm going to talk all things lips and I guess it's a really good subject to talk about because this coming Wednesday it's Valentine's Day and who doesn't want I guess hot sexy lips even if you're not kissing someone it doesn't matter you still want your lips to be in as best condition as possible so this video is all about exfoliating then moisturizing and also I guess choosing a really nice I guess color for your lips and then also how to then take care of them afterwards with like sort of after a home care and some at home exfoliation that's in your cupboard that you can just whip up so the first thing we're going to do is a homemade exfoliating lip balm type thing that you can actually make up you've already got it in your cupboard now and this is just three ingredients as you can see running through the video at the moment and it's basically just sugar mixed with a bit of honey and some olive oil so applying the actual lip scrub what i do at first if i'm in the shower you can use your finger but i've popped it on a barbie toothbrush which is a little bit uh, cool and it's nice and soft too so if you're going to use a toothbrush make, make sure you use a, a soft one and just apply it onto your lips as so actually if you're doing it at home and not in the shower make sure you've got a bowl underneath you and then just place it on and then just rub it all over right over your lip area give it a good old scrub and the good thing, of course, the sugar does all the exfoliating. It's also nice with the honey and the olive oil gives it a little bit of uh, smoothness, of course, to mix it into a paste. And the nice thing is if you swallow a bit of sugar, it's nice and sweet. So I'll just give it a bit of rub around. And so while you're in the shower, you can do it sort of, you know, leave it on while you're doing everything else and just give it another little bit of a rub before you rinse it off. But actually, oh, it feels really nice after you take it off. So I'm just going to take it off with a wipe here. So we're basically, that's all you need to do. Simple as that. And you've got some homemade lip exfoliation. And then what I like to do is just put on a... I can, you can either use an eye cream or... I like this one actually from Kmart. This is their 2% Hydro... Chronic, hydrochronic acid I can't say it properly and I like to put a couple of drops on my lips of this actually before I put my lipstick because I wear lipstick every day I tell you it's one of those necessities that I cannot do without and this is really good for fine lines and wrinkles it's very similar to the ordinary one but it's a lot less in price the ordinary is you know sort of like $20 it's not too bad but that one's only $6 from Kmart and the ingredients are very similar so that's a really good option they've got a retinol 1% and things like that too so have a look at this but for today's video I'm actually going to apply two different lipsticks and of course the main one is a nude which is what's sort of very on trend at the moment and also I guess for Valentine's Day a red lip is always what tends to be the favorite and I'm starting to wear a little bit more red I probably haven't for a long time but if you apply it properly and do a certain sort of um, few different steps it actually can last and you won't get a lot of bleeding which is probably what happens as we get older so firstly with the nude i'm actually going to pop on a lip liner now there's a kit that you can buy and i've put that under in here as well and i've also done a bit of a run through of my makeup applying today so i've sort of done that on a bit of a fast reel through here so you can see my makeup how i've applied it today and how i've gotten to this sort of stage at the end but this is a really good kit you can get these from kmart and these are six dollars and these come with a lip liner there's also a lipstick and also a lip gloss so if you're not sure about you know starting out with different lipsticks and colors they're a really good kit just to get you going and being six dollars you can get a nude kit which is what i'm going to put on now that's also probably the closest to they say for women in our sort of air age group i guess which is what 30 plus 40 plus 50 plus to go a lip color that's one darker than your own lip color so that's why i'm going to also i'll put a photo of that one in on my lips as well um so maybe yeah have a look around and see if you can find something that's you know do a test with a nude color and then do a test with a a one color darker than your own but for today what i'm going to try and do is i like my when i do a nude i like it to be a little bit 
over my lip line because you can sort of get away with it a bit more. And when you're doing lip liners, don't go into your corners here. Stay away from the very corner edge with any lip liner. So I tend to go a little bit on the outside even. Only because I like the fullness of bigger lips, of course. And when it comes to the center, you can also, with this bit across, you can also go across to give it a little bit more of a, a bigger lip. And then, as I said, just down here, do your bottom lip liner there. The good thing about a lip liner is it tends to stay in place and it holds it longer. And then popping a little bit of lipstick to fill it, like so. And then with this one too, you can also pop a little bit of gloss in the centre if you wanted to give it a bit of sheen. Not too much. I don't like a lot of gloss because I find that with the gloss too, it gets very, you know, my hair, if it's windy or something, it flies back. It's always like sticking in my lips. So sometimes glosses can be great and they look great, but they need to come up with a non-stick gloss that looks glossy, but it doesn't stick to your hair because it's very painful. And there's another product actually, which is Australian made, and this is called Loose Lips, and it's all got natural um, oils, like jojoba oil, um, coconut oil. There's also peppermint oil. And the good thing about this one is the peppermint oil actually gives it like that bee sting feel. So it gives you that, uh, I guess if you want that real sort of fullness. So you just pop a little bit of that on. And that's, this, this is also good by itself. If you want to use that just as a bit of a, you know, to feel like you've got that bee stung look and your lips go out to that sort of bigger feel. That's also, this one is really ideal by itself too. So you now this one is the final uh, red lip, which as I said, it's really a great one for Valentine's Day. It's a sexy look and it just makes you feel confident. Now, of course with lipsticks, you can have, you know, mattes and semi mattes and um, more sort of sheens and things like that. I do like a matte. I think they tend to stay a bit longer, but for the purpose of a red, there is, of course, the brand Trini that most people have heard of, and some of the other brands have it too. And this is where it's one of those products that basically just fills like your line area. So basically all you do is wherever you've got lines or any sort of, I guess, anything, you just rub this in, and especially around your lips. This is a great one for lips around that area. So if you're wearing a red, you don't want any bleeding to sort of come through during the evening. So I like using this mainly on a red, not so much for other colors because they don't tend to bleed, but sometimes even you don't think you've got lines there, but they sort of appear later on. So this just sort of fills the, it's like a putty filler, I guess, you know, like you go out there and fill up those sort of no more gaps. So put that on, let it sit. And this is a stackable one, which, um, she's got some really good colors and you can, I guess the great thing about when you're going out, you can just take these little um, parts with you. So for this one, I'm going to do a lip liner and also a lip brush. This one's a little bit different because there's a couple of other steps. So once again, we just do the line. Don't go into the corner and then just follow probably more so your lip line with a red you don't want to go too far out of the line so just pop that on like so and then with this one that's why i like this trini brand it's sort of like a it's a semi matte and it also has three brushes that you can buy and these actually you can which is great you can take them all for contouring but this is my one I use just for red <laughs> you can see I use it quite a bit and just then pop that on as a filler color and you can also use a bit of this on your cheeks if you wanted to as well so you can pop a little bit you know on here to give yourself a bit of a like if you're using a red you can put a bit of a oops I put a bit, a bit too much on that side but <laughs> the good thing is because it's sort of like a it's a cream, it's not a powder, so you can sort of blend it in, and especially if you're going from day to night. So you could wear a nude during the day and then take this out at night time. Then what we do is then just grab 
a tissue or a wipe and then just do this to get the excess off. And then what we get is a powder puff actually with some translucent powder on it. So what I'm going to do now is then just dab that over the top. And that sort of gives it like a bottom layer and it just sets it. So that'll set it for quite a long time actually. That won't budge. So you can go out and, you know, do a bit of a kiss kiss or whatever or blow kisses or, you know, kiss somebody on the cheek, whatever. And this will not budge. The top layer might move a little bit, but the good thing is then you go back in and just apply another layer and that bottom layer will not come off. So it's sort of like layering with your lipstick and you'll find this will not bleed and it will stay in place. So that's a red look. And I think it just, once again, you know, if you're going out and it just shows that, you know, you're confident, you're, you know, feeling a bit sexy and, you know, at all ages, I think we can all wear a red lip. It doesn't matter, you know, what color outfit, if you're wearing just an all black, or of course it's just a, a really dark blue dress I've got on. Even with white, it looks stunning with white. So, you know, give the red lip a go. And there's also one other product that I'd really like to highlight as an aftercare product. And I swear by this religiously every night. I sort of go a bit manic if I, you know, I'm lost. <laughs> if I'm somewhere and I don't have it with me and I've got to use like Vaseline or something. Um, it's the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. So it's been around forever. I think it was one of her first products she ever designed back in the 40s or 30s or something. And this is, it's like a sort of a Vaseline type substance, but it's really thick. So it's really good for lips. It just soothes them all the time and really good for your elbows. So pop it on your elbows as well. If anything gets really dry or your, your, um, your heels as well, of your feet when you go to bed. So pop a little bit of that on. This is just fantastic. And it's only about $35 and that will last you for a very, very long time. So once again, just a little bit of a tip and trick for, you know, having these beautiful luscious lips and yeah, trying some different colours. So have a wonderful Valentine's night, uh, ladies, and hopefully you get a happy Valentine from somebody and if not from your friends and we all deserve to be loved and give love back. So thank you and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.